So this is um, a gyroscope demonstration, and uh, we're using that. The sum of the torques equals the change in angular momentum divided by the change in time. And here's sort of the diagram of what's going on. Uh, and I'm going to use these markers to represent the various vectors involved. Um, so here's an initial momentum vector. Here is uh, a final momentum vector. And then here is uh, angular momentum. Those were, that's our torque vector. And uh, the students will explain why when we're outside, right? Um, so anyway, the important thing is solving this equation for, uh, for L2 shows that this is going to be the sum. This new angular momentum will be the sum of this one plus a little time interval times the net torque, which is a sort of angular equivalent of what class? Um, yes. Yes. Impulse. 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 Yeah. Impulse. Yeah. Impulse. Yeah. Impulse. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be represented by this little vector, right? It'll be the thing we add. It's this guy. The thing we add to this to get this. So we'll, we'll sort of do that three-dimensionally outside oh, with it's all the these. Cold. Yeah, let's go. OK, so the axis of rotation, well, there's two, right? There's the hub, the axis containing the hub. And then there's one that goes through right here, right? Because if I just let it go, what's going to happen? Meow. Yes, that's what's going to happen. And, and what's, what's applying, what force is applying the torque to cause that? Gravity. Yes, exactly. And, and you know, in the upward. Yeah, well, but that, but that, if that's our axis of rotation, then the moment arm is zero. zero. So it was just gravity. gravity. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> so, um, excellent. So anyway, uh, so the if gravity is acting in the direction of my hand, we use the right hand roll curl towards the axis of rotation, and the torque points when it's oriented like this. The torque was the blue marker. The head is the arrow. It's pointing towards you, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then the angular momentum, the initial one, that was the yellow marker. And if the thing is spinning this way, I wrap my fingers in the direction... Wait a second now. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> yeah, the direction of the spin. So uh, yes. the yellow marker is pointing in the direction of the angular momentum, mm -hmm. um, the initial angular momentum. And would someone just support this side for me while I blabber? <laughs> blabber, blabber. Yes. Uh, so that, okay, so the torque is, uh, the net torque is acting that way. The angular momentum is the yellow marker, right? Notice, how are they oriented, oriented to one another? At a right angular. angular. That's At right. One. So can, <laughs> can the torque change the angular momentum yeah. of, about this axis? No. Yeah. No. The, well, no. I said, can it change it? I didn't say oh. the magnitude. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay, so it can change it, but it can't change <laughs> the, the magnitude. magnitude. So it's not going to make the wheel spin faster, say, it won't change omega uh, about this axis, right? right? But it can change what about this? The direction! Right, by adding the, the sort of angular equivalent of impulse, that was this guy, delta t times the Which torque. Is infinitesimally small. Yeah, it gives us the new direction for the angular momentum, which is this marker. So when, you see, when we add this vector to this vector, we get that new vector. Which should have the same magnitude. Right. But since this isn't really infinitesimally small, it makes this situation look weird. <laughs> but you know that. So basically, it changed the direction. So now, which way will it rotate so that it can have this angular momentum? This way. Yeah, exactly. Yes. How? 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 Quick, watch how? Holly's Point finger. It. How? <laughs> yeah, exactly. OK, good. So let's try it. You get it spinning good and fast. Smack that tire! Ah! 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 It's kind of swinging. Stop swinging. There we go. As they predicted. It's a race car. Look at it go. Alright. And then if I supported it by the other side. You see, da, 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 it starts rotating the other way. And no, he's okay. not pulling it, it's just rotating. Yeah, it was rotating. <laughs> he's trying to he's escape not magical. the friction yeah. of the wheel. See, if you apply the torque, you change the, uh, the direction of the uh. net torque, and it, well, it doesn't look as good with the rope on it. But the angular momentum changes in the other direction. You should do your juggling again. <laughs> what? 
So then there's also for for Don's class. Yeah, yeah, what time is it? Uh, we should show them. Three. Yes, come on, Holly. Go, Very go. quickly, Holly needs to be in the van. Oh, really? So, so, so do I. So do I. Okay, well, you can go if you need to. I think everyone in John's class is Okay, so, uh, Nathan, sure, the is stand there. Well, I'm going to okay. watch this. <laughs> I think my... So, what is, um, Wait, what is Holly's, um, angular momentum right now? about the axis, the, the axis that contains the, the rope. Wait, 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 what's her angular wait, momentum? Wait, guys. What's her angular uh, momentum? Uh, right now? Yes. Zero. Okay, let, let make sure you, her feet are lifted. She's not touching the ground, folks. Whee! We just witnessed a rotational collision. Quick, quick. Your face. That's J Jacob will be happy to explain what's happening to you okay. if you want. So Jacob's very right good at our now, a cor um, there, no part of the wheel is rotating around this axis of rotation, but if Holly rotates it, this part of the wheel is rotating this <laughs> way and this part is rotating this way. Now this part out here, uh, turn it back please. Like this way? Yeah. This, oh. this part of the wheel <laughs> is further out than this part. So the moment of inertia, which is mr squared, okay, is greater uh, for the outer part of the wheel than the inner part, and so mm, thus the net uh, moment of inertia for the wheel is that way, and so to conserve um, mm, <laughs> rotational momentum, mm, Holly rotates in the other direction around the wheel. Around the axis. Yeah, around the axis, excuse me. <laughs> Just for fun, she should do the bicycle. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Yes, and she can also demonstrate the principle. Oh, goody, this one is funny. <laughs> with this trick that I taught this them. This is so awesome. Okay, go, Holly, go. <laughs> <laughs> she is rotating! <laughs> But how is that possible? It's the same concept. She's basically creating a keep wheel going, with Holly, her keep feet. Going. Yeah. Now, now, if she just flutter kicks though, with that, she's pulling her feet in. If she just flutter kicks, she's not going to rotate. Right. No, she's got to pull the other foot in. You, you have to bicycle. So, Holly, is it good exercise? Yeah. We should just have a PE where we all just string up ropes to yeah. the gym ceiling and all just. Bicycle around. It's <laughs> like a great abs exercise. To do. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's a good core for strength sure. workout. Okay, that's basically the Feeling whole thing. Strong. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and now Nathan so gets to, to do it without oh, a yes. harness. Yes. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It's wait, not wait. over. It's oh, it's not over. Let clip and let Nathan do it without the harness. Okay. It might be kind of low. He's going to have to really pull on that sucker. Don't hit the wall, Nathan. Yeah. I can't get on. Jump, Holly. Jump. <laughs> you can do it. Now, see, this is a great abs exercise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go, Nathan, go. Is this really going to go on the website? That yes. <laughs> it will show what a great right. athletics program we have, That's it. Brad. That's it. Yeah, right. All right. Conservation okay. of momentum. Can we go inside some more now?